because my Lexus sounds like that, I'm going to fix this, Ooh, or this even. Well, unfortunately, um, I got sent the wrong pulley, so I've replaced that one, so that one's now nice and smooth, but this is the one that's really knackered, but good grief, getting at it is a pain. Um, I think I might have to take all this lot off, which means I'm going to take the air intake assembly off. Ugh! Hurrah! It's actually come out. Um, all I can say is if anyone um, asks you to remove the um, auxiliary belt tensioner on their Lexus, say no. I mean, it's just ridiculous. I've had to remove everything. Coil packs and the whole air filter assembly, um, plug lead covers. Ridiculous. But um, now it's out, if I can hold it in a suitable place. No, oh, no, that's... Try that way up. Oh. Oh, yeah, there we go. That's knackered. Um, I'm struggling to find a new one of these online, so I'm going to see if I can just get away with replacing the pulley, but I think I may have broken that by trying to turn it the wrong way. It's a left-hand thread. So I might end up having to replace the whole item. Not that I can find one. This is going to be fun. Well, here we go. I've travelled all the way to Wolverhampton. I have my tensioner. So now all I need to do is get it all the way back home and fit it. Uh, the cost of this tensioner uh, retails at £232 plus VAT. Ouch. Well, it's a good job I like my Lexus, isn't it, really? There has been a slight delay to the... Um, Lexus project because uh, it's kind of vanished. I don't fancy changing that tensioner today. Right, it actually isn't raining so I'm going to get this tensioner fitted to the Lexus. Uh, just as a quick sneaky preview, the Invercar is in the garage and uh, very nearly runs. Um, hopefully in the next video it will be running. But for now, back to Lexus. So the challenge here is that the tensioner needs to get back in down there, so you have to squeeze past this ruddy cooling fan and try and find your way in. So I'm going to do that, which I can't do while I'm talking to you. So there's the new tensioner in place, alternator's back on. I've had to take the pulley off though to get access to a bolt under here, which is horrible to get at, uh, which holds this cover in place. And without that in place, I can't get this back on. It's kind of that sort of job where 21 different things means suddenly you've got no intake system fitted at all. Uh, let's just have a quick look at the pulley. Here it is. So the pulley has the bearing in, and it is actually an option to get that pressed out and put a new bearing in. That's the other side of it. Uh, one very, very important thing to note. This is the bolt that holds the pulley on. It's a left-handed thread. Uh, see... Um, oh, you, you can see if it could focus. Come on, focus. It's trying, it's trying. I can't, oh, there we go. Just see an arrow visible there, which tells you it's that way to um, tighten, uh, bizarrely. That's, that's not the way to undo. It's, it's a left-handed thread. There you go, there's, there's the thread. So it's, um, yeah, that way to tighten. Um, I got that wrong when I was taking it apart. Um, because I, uh, someone on the internet had told me the wrong thing um, so I actually broke the old tensioner which meant no chance of um, replacing just the bearing and um, that's the old idler pulley, new idler pulley is fitted so slowly, slowly getting there, it's like the cam belt job you just have to remove so much stuff to get anywhere near what you want and this thing's struggling with the focus today, I don't think it likes the cold anyway, it's um, just stopped raining on me, so I'm going to carry on. Right, test run. Ooh. Okay, it's probably just getting upset because the amount of stuff isn't plumbed in, so let's plumb everything in. Oh look, that's fibre broadband been installed, that's quite exciting. Uh, right, I've got the um, air filter assembly all plugged in again. Um, that I kind of forgot that there is an electrical box here, so if you've not seen the signal, the car will be getting confused. But um, let's have a second to go at starting the lovely Lexus. Hmm. OK. 
Okay. Something is clearly not right. What is not right? To make sure the coil pack was on properly, it hasn't come off on the back. Now I can see that connector there, that's there. Uh, connector, 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 hose pipe. Hmm. No, something is definitely not quite right here. So I'm going to have to try and find out what I've left unconnected. Oh, I can smell petrol. The petrol is definitely getting through. So what have I done? Uh, bear with me while I investigate. Right, yet another day goes by. It's the day after I got the Invercar running and now I've got to try and get the Lexus running. Um, as I discussed yesterday, plugs not looking brilliant. That one looks particularly awful. So I have some nice shiny new Iridium ones to go in. Took some um, work by the chap at the Motor Factors. He was having the right game trying to find them because there's all sorts of cross references. But these should work nicely. I know these plugs, these old plugs, um, have been in the car for at least two years because that's when a friend of mine bought it and he bought it with the owner claiming he'd fitted some lovely plugs. Maybe they were lovely back then, but they look bloody awful now. So yeah, of course you have to get all this gubbins off, all the air intake system, to get out of this bank. Um, and then there's plastic covers on top. And um, I don't think there are quite enough bolts left. I don't know where they've all gone. Probably sitting in the under tray. But yeah, let's get the plugs in. Right, today's um, incompetent user with crap tools moment um, comes from my little socket for the spark plug. They usually have a bit of rubber, so they'll just snug around the top of the plug and pull the plug out. But when I pull my socket out, the plug does not come out. So what do I do about that? Well, I get the HT lead, wherever that's gone. Stuff that down there, give it a jiggle. There we go. And then out comes the plug. Simple as that. They're always thinking, have we got some pliers? Because the plugs are down these very long tubes. So um, I can't get down there with my fingers, um, even though I am a piano player. So yeah, there you go, top tip. Also, see the oil around that one? That suggests that the um, cam cover gasket is leaking and it's just dropping a bit of oil down into the cylinders. Probably not doing any harm, to be honest. So I don't think I'm going to fret too much about that right now. I want it to run. Ah. Aha! Uh, my my bit of rubber from my spark plugs panel appears to be down there. Bugger! Oh, there you go. That's taken me an hour to get that out. Uh, the rubber has just ended up squashed right down on it. Uh, what a pain! I had to use a vacuum cleaner to try and help suck some of the rubber out. Basically, it's just involved stabbing it repeatedly with a screwdriver until it broke up enough to get the plug out. Onwards and upwards. Right, is my luck finally in? Uh, it's the ignition, I'm not going to touch the throttle. Oh, that sounds a bit better. I thought that was a horrible belt noise, but it's because I've not got the air filter assembly on. So it all sounds quiet from the belt area. So there you go, it's taken days, but we've finally got there and I've finally got the um, Lexus working again. Oh, good grief. So with the air filter back on, it's nice and quiet again. Ooh, condensation. No, it's not smoke, stop it. So there you go, the Lexus is running again. That fills me with much happiness because it's been a bit of a stressful situation trying to get this car going again. I'm glad it only took a set of 
um, spark plugs to do it. Uh, I still need to give the car a full service though. Um, I've got all the filters and oil ready to go. It's just finding time. Um, tinkering with cars, editing magazines. I'm starting to overlook other, other members of the fleet. I need to sort my priorities out. But yeah, I'm looking forward to putting some more miles on the Lexus. Still a lot to do with this car. And it already owes me about two grand. That's not good, is it? And then luxury shouldn't come cheap. So yeah, stay tuned in 2018 and see what further adventures there are for the Lexus. But for now, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to leave comments below. And I shall see you again in another video about some other car. Let's face it, it could be anything from a Lexus to an Invercar. That's quite a range. Farewell.